Okay, so today's video is a little different because, as usual, we will be reacting to something. And in this case, it's the group called Koln, C-O-L-N, and their performance of Baliu on The Wish Bus. But before we do that, I want to know more about Kong TV and why this dude is so freaking popular. He is constantly trending in the Philippines and I want to know the reason why. So we will be reading his Wikipedia page and try to see maybe perhaps it will let us know why he is so freaking popular. And after that, we will react to his performance of Baliu, which is, I think, his song with his group. He has a band called Koln. There you go. If you are new to the channel, welcome! Marigayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. My name is Ovila. I am a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And I hope you're ready to dive into the background of Kong TV. I actually don't even know his real name. I will discover it with you guys, all right? Let's get to it. Okay, so Lincoln Jonald Cortez or Jonald Jonald Cortez Velasquez. Wow, he has the same last name as Regine. Okay, he was born on October 27th, 1991. So he is my brother's age. All right, Lincoln Jonald Cortez better known by his username Kong TV, is a Filipino YouTuber, comedian, musician, so clearly, uh, vlogger, and online streamer. He is known for his comedy videos on YouTube. We'll see the videos of his that I see trending in the Philippines are usually just vlog type videos. So I know him as a vlogger and I can't uh, watch his videos because they're not in English. Velasquez is often also considered one of the top YouTube personalities in the Philippines uh, career. So Velasquez began uploading videos to YouTube in 2008. Oh, he started early, good for him. He started out as a vlogger and rose to fame in the Philippines by uploading comedy skits and parodies to the platform. I see. He also played the role of Moby in the 2016 Philippine television series My Super D. My Super D? My Super Dad? <laughs> oh, so he's an actor. Okay, okay, okay. Aside from being a vlogger, he's also a live streamer and a musician. So I'm guessing he streams, uh, does he stream on YouTube or Twitch? Probably on Twitch. He is the lead vocalist and guitarist of the band Kong, there we go, that we will be reacting to right after, which he formed in 2018. He released his first music video as well in the same year on YouTube. On December 3rd, 2020, his channel was included and ranked third on the list of the top YouTube PH creators of 2020. I wonder who are the ones that uh, preceded him, number one and number two. But uh, if you had asked me, I would have said that he's number one because every time he releases a video, it's trending number one in the Philippines. Uh, personal life. Velasquez has three siblings, two of whom are YouTubers as well. Wow, it's a family of YouTubers. Marlon Va Velasquez Jr., also known as Juni Boy, Patricia Velasquez, also known as Nining Lamig, and Venice Velasquez. Both Marlon and Patricia have already surpassed 1 million YouTube subscribers. Oh my goodness. Uh, in December 2020, he and his girlfriend, a fellow vlogger, Vai Cortez, 
lost their baby just days after learning of their pregnancy oh that's so sad that's really sad i'm really sorry about this man ouch um a year later however cortez announced on a vlog that she and Cock TV were expecting another baby hey okay great um on july 5th 2022 cortez gave birth to their son oh okay well the story ended well i'm so happy for them zeus emmanuel kidlat velasquez zeus mm, the god of thunder the greek god of thunder I like it's a strong name so it doesn't necessarily explain why he's so popular but uh, because his girlfriend is also a popular youtuber it helps a lot so i'm guessing they are a power couple a youtube power couple and it helps tremendously uh on top of that his siblings as well you know are popular youtubers so yeah basically that's why He's very, very popular. Also, he started on the platform a long time ago. For instance, I started in 2016 and I reached the million uh, subscribers, but he started in 2008 and I have no idea how many, <laughs> how many subscribers he has, but it's probably close to like 6 million. He's as tall as I am, according to Wikipedia. Uh, he's five foot nine. So good for him because, you know, usually Filipinos are tend to be on the short side <laughs> okay now we can actually react to his performance of uh what's the name of the song again baleo i don't know what that means i will check that later all right let's get to it I had no idea that the type of music that they did was rock, you know? I did not know what to expect. I usually never expect rock, you know, from Filipinos. Because usually the videos that you want me to react to are usually closer to ballads and belting, you know? Or even hip-hop. Okay. Is it just me or does this uh, song and the melody and the pattern of the percussions remind you as well of the Michael Jackson song Morphine? Morphine! You know? From his um, like remix album Blood on the Dance Floor that my mom bought me when I was a kid, man, and I used to listen to over and over and over again. It reminds me of that a little bit. So how would you define this type of rock? You know, it's not alternative rock. Alternative rock is usually softer. It's not, you know, metal. Metal rock is a lot crazier. Is it considered hard rock? Hard rock? Or just rock, plain rock? <laughs> okay so we got him as the main vocalist so the the singer and guitarist we got the bassist uh behind over here i think we got a second guitarist right there we got the drummer right here and we got this dude what, what? is he like 
the hype man, the ad libs man, perhaps the rapper of the group, you know? He like repeats whatever uh, Velasquez says, just in a very hip hopish way. It's not bad, man. I like the vibe. You know, morphine. Man, look, I don't want to assume about his life, but I'm I'm thinking he he is living the best life. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like he is successful in everything that he does. You know, uh, becoming a vlogger, uh, becoming a streamer, and I'm guessing as a streamer he probably plays video games or something, right? Uh, he he created a band, you know, and his music was successful as well. It's amazing, right? Going out with a famous YouTuber. I like this part. It's like a break. Yo, to be honest with you guys, I mean, he sings just fine, but I don't feel like this song needs a vocalist. I'm really enjoying them just playing their instruments. I think it's great that way, just simply that way. They are great guitarists. Skills. See what I'm talking about? It's absolutely not necessary for them to sing or rap because their guitar skills are extremely impressive. I mean, they are making those guitars cry in a very good way. Mmm, so freaking good. There we go. So I was right. He is the rapper of the group. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I also saw uh, Velasquez featured on other popular songs, you know, that has that have nothing to do with this band. <laughs> it's like they go down the stairs. <laughs> and I also saw that there was a um, an actual MV for it, an official MV for it, but I thought it would be more interesting to react to the live performance because I know that you guys prefer live performances to actual music videos. Mm. 
Fantastic! I mean, their skills are out of this world! Those heads, delicious! My goodness! Mmm! Mmm! Actually, I think it would be even more interesting to uh, listen to them live. I think they are more fun to listen to live. Damn! Well, this was a very interesting video. So, I think the only content that Velasquez. I'm just gonna call him Velasquez because Velasquez is very easy for me to remember because of Regine Velasquez uh, or Kong TV. Okay, so the only content that Kong TV that I can actually consume is his music. Okay, because the rest is not translated in English and they speak only in Tagalog. They speak fast and I don't understand anything, which is a shame. Uh, but maybe who knows in the future he will. Uh, translate his content because I don't know if you've noticed but like the top 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 youtubers like mr. beast and others now they actually translate their videos in multiple languages you know which is very helpful for uh, people from uh, you know foreign countries to understand and consume their videos so yeah let me know what you thought I mean <sighs> Do you have any extra information about Mr. Velasquez? You know, why is he so popular? Why do Filipinos love this guy so much? You know, uh, I mean, I can understand them enjoying his music because, yes, they are very talented. Um, but why do you actually enjoy his vlogging? You know, uh, why do you enjoy his parodies? Uh, is he actually a good actor because he played in my Super D? Uh, I really don't know what the D stands for, but I'm guessing it's... I'm not gonna think naughty, I'm gonna think nice, so dad, you know? So if you have any extra information about him, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you got value out of this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.